and we can put that into our new form which is our old friend Newton's second law but written in a more powerful form the original law of Newton was written for particles things that had to have fixed mass and had to have no size well it's time to start dealing with the real world things that can actually have their mass change things that can have size so we're going to get a more powerful form of Newton what Newton actually said he didn't say the sum of the external forces equal ma what he said was the sum of the external forces is equal to the time rate of change of the linear momentum that means find delta P divide by the change in time and take the limit where that change in time goes towards zero and that's the external force so what an external force does is it changes P it's a P changer changes linear momentum They used to have a lot of these commercials where they would have these devices and they try to sell it to you and they say it's new, it's improved. Well, I say it's true. This is new, it's improved. It's Newton too. It's the varsity version of Newton. It does everything the old Newton did and it does so much more. It can work rocket problems. It can work gun problems. It can work any problem you had before, but it can do more. It's improved Newton too. Now, in our improved Newton too formula, Newton says linear momentum of an object will only change if there's a net external force. So I told you earlier that Newton's first law said that there was a straight line at constant speed. Well, really, from our second law, if this happens to be zero, then there is no change in P. So the first law could be rewritten, say Newton first law. P equal constant, constant linear momentum, if and only if, now the way mathematicians usually write that is they write IFF, no net external force acting on the body. If M is a constant, the statement I make now is the same as the statement I made before. But if you had something like a gun, it has a bullet. If this bullet is shot out in one way, this away with some V and it has some mass then it's carrying with it some P and originally the gun and the bullet had no P so that means that the gun has to have a P equal in size and opposite in direction so that the two arrows still add up to no P no linear momentum this is what is called recoil in a gun. All right? So Newton's first law says linear momentum is conserved. The only way it won't be conserved is if there is a net external force acting on the body. Now, why did we modify the law? Well, I just showed you. We modified the law for problems involving mass that changes. So let me show you that our old law is consistent. Delta P over uh, um, is delta M times V over delta T. And if you haven't done it before and figured out how to calculate a change when you have a product of something, let's look at area. Let's say that area was length times width of this board. And I want that's equal to area. So A is LW. And I wanted to find a change in area. Well, then that would be a change in the length times W. Now, there's a couple ways that I can change the area of that board. One way I could do it is I could come along here and I could cut part of the board this away. 
and cut off this part of the board. And that would be a change in the length times the width of the board. So delta A, one way to do it would be to have a delta L times a width. But there's another way I could do it. I could come across instead and I could cut a piece like this. And if I did that, this is delta W, that's the height, and the length is L. So another way of doing it is L times delta W. So when you have a product, you have two terms. The change in the first times the second plus the first term times the change in the second. This is what I've done over here. I've taken the first, there's my delta L, if you would, times the second, and the first times the change in the second. Now what's important about this term is the change in velocity over the change in time. We have a name for that. It's called acceleration. The change in mass over change in time, this one I don't have a name for right now. So it says the sum of the external forces has my ma. If the mass doesn't change, this term goes to zero. But there is this term that we threw out before. This term has a name. It's called the rocket term. This rocket term says that if you're in outer space, there's nobody to give you a push. So how does rockets speed up and slow down? They speed up and slow down by changing their mass. That is, they throw stuff out the back. Or they can throw stuff out the front. And like the, the gun, if you throw it out in one direction, you can recoil in the opposite direction. Now, sometimes instead of leaving it on this side, they'll move this term to the other side by subtracting it. If they do that, if they subtract it over, it'll look like this. Now, it, instead of looking like it's over the mass, it looks like it's some sort of new type of force. That, when they do that, the force term has a name. It's called thrust. And this has to do with the use of airplanes. So instead of a force, if you want to make the plane accelerate, you can change your mass, like I said, by throwing stuff in and out. Thus an object can be acted upon by an external force. It can expel mass in the direction opposite the way it wants to accelerate. Or you can even obtain mass in the same direction. That is, you can gain mass and you can slow down. All of this comes to be exactly the same as our old Newton law if delta m over delta t is zero. Because if that term is zero, then this goes away and we get the junior varsity version of Newton's law that only works for particles. So our Newton 2 is improved because it now works for rockets, jet engines, and other things for which their mass is not constant. And it is the new fundamental law of the universe. So Newton said the sum of the external forces is equal to the momentum and is in the direction of the momentum is impressed. Or I should say the change in momentum with respect to time. All right, that's enough for this particular section. We'll go and talk about impulse in the next video.